The man accused of kidnapping a four-year-old boy from his crib and stabbing him to death is ordered to undergo a competency evaluation. Hello again, I'm Heather Hayes. Darian Brown is facing a number of charges related to that crime and to others as well. Fox 4's Natalie Solis spoke with the suspect's attorney to talk about what it all means, and she joins us now. Natalie. Well, Heather, that attorney for Brown says this is a key first step in representing his client, but he says he is also frustrated by the lack of progress in pushing this case forward. Right now, I'm just not confident that he can uh, assist me in his defense. Defense attorney Heath Harris on his 18-year-old client, Darian Brown, facing several charges, including capital murder and kidnapping, for allegedly snatching four-year-old Cash Gurnan, who was staying with a family nearby, from his crib May 15th and stabbing him to death. The boy's body discovered by a morning walker lying in the street. Harris requested a mental health evaluation of Brown and a judge signed off to be completed within 30 days. Harris says it's a step in the right direction, but points out it's going on two months and the capital murder case has yet to be filed, meaning he can't yet access evidence obtained by law enforcement to help him defend his client. He has at least seven cases, six or seven cases, the only thing that they filed is an evading, you know? I don't need information on evading. I need a discovery on this alleged capital murder, on the burglary of a habitation with intent to commit a felony, on kidnapping. I need the discovery so I can do my job. Dallas police say they've turned everything over to the DA's office, and that's where the case sits. A spokesperson says the case is under review, but for now it's in early stages, and the office won't comment further before seeking indictment. Former Dallas County prosecutor turned defense attorney Toby Shook not on this case. It's a little unusual for for the uh, to take this long to get to the DA's office and the DA's office to be ready, but you do see these delays sometimes with more complicated cases. Harris says there's much he hopes to eventually learn, especially about videos that have surfaced from in and around the house where the four-year-old was staying. Court documents say one surveillance camera from inside the boy's room shows Brown taking the child and appearing to leave the room. But Harris says because he can't access the rest of the evidence, he doesn't know if there were other cameras in the home and what they may have captured. Is there only one video? I don't know if someone, you know, may have led him to go into that room, take that child out of the room, not out of the house. So that's why I want to know, where are the other videos? And Toby Shook points out that the DA's office has 90 days from the arrest to seek indictment, so he does expect that there will be some movement in this case fairly soon. Back to you. Natalie, thank you.